Hello and welcome to Marble 050607. I had to make a movie about today's Marble. I can't pass up 050607. That's just too cool of a number of a day to, to pass by. Uh, today we're going to do an, uh, a variation of the imploded dot or sea anemone marble. We're going to try and put little uh, air bubble tips on the uh, on the ends of the sea anemone tentacles. Uh, this is based on a design done by Anakin's Glass Eye. He won a uh, a flame off competition or flame on competition. It's a, a, a marble making competition. He actually sold. Uh, this uh, des uh, this marble that he did this design with for like two hundred and seventy five dollars. So uh, I think it's a good marble for me to try and do if I can sell them for uh, they're going for that kind of money. Uh, do a Google search on Anakin's Glass Eye. I think that might be his website, AnakinsGlassEye.com, but I'm not sure. Google him. Uh, he's very impressive stuff, and uh, he's the one that uh, I got the implosion tutorial off of. Uh, we're going to use this. A scratch all to do the dots. It's just a metal rod with a pointy tip. I couldn't find an ice pick. I think I picked this up at Big Lots for like a buck and a half. You can get them at Lowe's, Big Lots, places like that. And we're going to do uh, use that to make the indentations for the bubbles. Cap that with a little bit of clear, and then uh, then draw dots on top of that and implode it. So first things first, we're going to. Uh, Get our gather about three quarters of the size of the marble that we want at the and uh, flatten it out into a Maria. Step number one. We have our gather and a nice big Maria, relatively thick. Nice big round. Now we're going to start poking uh, indentations into it. Get it nice and super hot on the face. Poke an indentation using the scratch all and then let it cool a little bit after the indentation and then cover the indentation with a little drop of clear to trap a bubble in there and then we're going to uh, tip our sea anemone with I took some disco sparkle and mixed it with the cobalt blue there and then uh, that's kind of a, an amber or transparent it's going to turn kind of a, a milky tan color. I don't know the actual names of a lot of these colors because <laughs> I'm kind of a cheapskate. So I just I buy a, a five pound bag of mixed shorts off a guy uh, on, on eBay. So I don't know the official names of these colors. But I just call them by what they kind of look like. Alright, we're going to uh, superheat the face and start poking our indentations for the, for the bubbles. Bubbles! Hopefully you can see these. They're just a series of little bubbles. They're just making indentations with the scratch all and then capping it with a little piece of clear. And we're going to work this all in. Maria back out flat. And we're going to layer dots of the cobalt blue mixed with disco sparkle over the top of the dots. And those will be the caps for the sea anemone. And then we'll melt those all the way in. Maria back out and then we'll layer on the uh, amber that'll turn a tannish which will be the tentacles and then we'll start the implosion here we have the cobalt blue with uh, mixed with disco sparkle over the top of the bubbles we're going to work these all the way in and start to implode them a little bit and then we will layer the next color. Now we have put on the second color, the uh, amber that's going to turn a kind of tanny. It's going to look kind of like coral or like a sea anemone kind of colory. And then uh, before you work that second color in, I also backed it with a little dot of clear which will make the uh, tentacles thicker. It'll thicken up the you got to put it on there before you work it all the way down though, so that it'll spread the, the second color out a little bit thicker. We'll go ahead and work these down and uh, start the implosion process using the elbow up technique, 45 degree angle, putting the flame on the tread of the tire, 
So the outside will be uh, hotter than the inside and it will draw the inside up as the outside gravity pulls the outside down. Alright, so we're going to start working this in. Start the implosion process. Everything's going great so far. We got a very good implosion there. I can zoom in on it there for you. You can see the blue tip and the white tentacle. Can you see the the bubbles? Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. We're gonna go ahead and cap it now, and uh, it'll implode a little bit more as we work the uh, the back into it. Looking good so far. I like it. I like it a lot. Here we have it back and in, uh, in a relative shape. You know, it's not perfect yet. We haven't shaped it, shaped it. We've, we've got it relatively close. We worked it all in there. Now we're going to decorate the back with some uh, some peacocking, do some dots and some twists, and uh, make it look pretty. And then uh, we'll remove the rod from the top end and start shaping it. And here we have the dots for the peacocking using the same colors that uh, <clears throat> I used for the tentacles. The base is actually an aqua sparkle and then I used the uh, caramel, tan, amber, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and then the cobalt blue with disco sparkle mixed in and then a dot of clear on top of that. Eight dots around the edges smaller dots in between the two dots for a second row and then one big dot in the middle and then we'll get all this worked in and we'll do a little twisting and peacock it and make it a cool little back design and there's the peacocking I don't know if you can really see it we'll just twist it around the little tits kind of a sunburst kind of thing I went opposing, I twisted uh, every other one in opposite directions. So I twist one to the right, then the next one to the left, then one to the right, then the next one to the left. So, we'll see how that turns out. Looking good so far. Now we're just going to work those back down in, punty on the end, remove the uh, rod from the, the lens, and start to shape it. There it is on the first punty. You can see it. Good design there. little bubbles. It's really not focusing in too well, is it? Uh, how's that? We're going to go ahead and shape it up and put it in the kiln. See what it looks like when it comes out. And here we have the completed product after the annealing process. See if I can zoom in there. You can see the little air bubbles trapped in there. I like the way the the tips turned out very nice and the back turned out really nice. I'll go take pictures of this and post them on my website cdmarbles with a z dot com c-d-m-a-r-b-l-e-z dot com I think next time I'll just skip the clear dot and go straight to putting the colored dot over the divot so the bubble is right on the tip of the tentacle. These these bubbles are kind of floating. But I like it. I like it. See you next time.